He was my Jack Bauer. I mean, he, he was my eyes and ears. You know, I'd use all of his scouting reports and you know, all of his information. It was a huge help for me. Let's take a look at KD's off the dribble game. Anytime you're trying to take your man off the dribble, you have to be able to get low and change speeds. All right, in this in this pick and roll, Milwaukee switches, Pat Connaughton switches on a Durant. All right, he changes speeds, gets in the paint, and pulls up. Let's take a look at it in slow mo. Now, at seven feet tall, he still gets as low as he can. Now, look how he shields his bo- the ball away with his body and uses his shoulders and hands to get a, you know get the defender off of him to be able to create space. All right. It doesn't matter how big you are, what position you play. You got to be able to change speeds. You got to be able to protect the ball and shield it with your body. And you have to be able to get to your kill spots and finish. The best weapon that any offensive player has to beat his defender is to be able to change speeds and change directions. Here you see Duran on, on the wing, be able to use that crossover, change speeds, get in the paint, and pull up over the help defender. All right, let's take a look at it in slow-mo. He uses that off arm to get his defender off. Uses that crossover, then changes that speed. Look at his shoulder and his off arm. All right, being able to get by the defender and get him on his hip. And then once he gets that help defender, he's seven feet tall. No one's going to block his shot. But again, it's just the same thing. It doesn't matter what level you play at. You've got to be able to cross, be able to change directions and change speeds, get into the paint, and make a play. Kobe always told me that it didn't matter what situation that he was in, how much time was left, or where he was on the floor. He always knew how to get to his kill spots. His kill spots were the two elbows and two blocks. Kevin Durant's a very similar player where he, when he needs a basket, he could always get to the mid-range to get his shot off. Here he comes off the pick and roll, and they switch. He puts his defender to sleep with the, between the legs and then hits him with the crossover. But notice, just like in the other two clips, how he changes speeds and changes direction. He gets low, all right, and it's that selling point of changing speeds when he sets his defender up slow and finishes him fast, where now he just changes that gear. See in slow-mo as he puts it between his legs, now he hits him with the crossover, the defender backs up, and he just pulls up in the mid-range, getting his shot off. 